ladies and gentlemen it is officially time to release all of the settings for cyberpunk now this game has just been going insane it had over 1 million concurrent views on twitch there was just a whole bunch of people playing it uh the only problem is this game is basically the crisis of 2020 now if you know what i mean by crisis well you know let's just dive into all the settings that will make your gameplay and your streams or your videos look absolutely crispy now first things first you need to make sure that when you go into settings and if you're streaming you need to turn off all of the music uh cyberpunk recently put out a whole bunch of tweets about how their uh disabled copyright music is working mostly but there are a couple songs that aren't working properly which means that well if you're streaming the game and you have just one song that is uh copyrighted well you're just going to get a dmca strike so make sure that does not happen to you uh they also recommended that you just turn off all of your music completely until they fix it so uh, i would just kind of recommend that you do that now uh besides that for your gameplay we're gonna go all the way here to graphics um you have all these quick presets now what these quick presets mean are that these are completely researched by cyberpunk devs themselves to make your gameplay look as good as possible at the highest frame rate possible and so uh you'd be very hard pressed to find a setting that would look even better than what they recommend however there is one thing that is kind of up for debate and maybe even two so uh without further ado let's just kind of dive straight in now that we're in the menu settings for all the graphics i want you guys to kind of understand so we have graphics uh set to custom low medium high ultra and ray tracing medium and ray tracing ultra now if you do not have an rtx card or better uh you're not going to be able to take advantage of the ray tracing and so i highly recommend that if you uh don't have for example a, a 2070 super or or above really you really need to be rocking a 2080 super 2080 ti you know something something along those lines if you really want to push the absolute cinematic fidelity of cyberpunk now uh, we're going to leave ours at ultra so you guys kind of understand how it looks uh, so this is this is what everything kind of looks like on ultra right now uh, as you guys see uh, as you guys can see I have a FPS counter in the upper left so that shows 60 you can have it kind of dipping below 60 every now and then uh, but you want to have it probably 50 plus as much as possible and that includes while being in a gunfight usually that's when the, your frames are gonna dip now as you guys can see uh, I have trapped this 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 poor man right here in the, well uh, yeah I'm holding up traffic uh shadows are looking very nice even shadow reflections this guy wants to get around me but we're just going to kind of trap him here for right now uh and uh so i just want to show you guys first things first as far as like uh details so, like look at his tattoos look at the colors look at the texture on his clothes uh his face so you, you're gonna basically see skin tone and uh skin textures uh even like eyebrows and, and and eye type stuff okay so let me get one thing straight just right off the bat just just so you guys understand the main difference in graphics between a low graphic and an ultra ray trace graphic or an ultra graphic believe it or not is going to be in the lighting the reflections and the shadows those three things and i, I want to just demonstrate for you really quick how it looks uh so let me go back to the the graphic settings i want to put everything on low okay so low 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 off you see how there's not too much of a difference it's it it doesn't look like intense it doesn't look cinematic but it doesn't look bad like right off the bat like you guys can see it it, it looks it looks pretty pretty good main difference now let me switch this over to ultra right so go back to my settings go back to my uh custom settings which is uh so it's custom i have DLSS set to balance, ray trace lighting's on ultra. Uh, where is my chromatic aberrations off, motion blurs on low. So now we'll go back to this. And there you have it. So yes, a little bit more depth, uh, a little bit more complexity, but it, you know, the, the, the low settings, like, like don't, don't be sad if you, if, if your computer can only handle low, it's fine, it looks great. The difference between low and DLSS Ultra or, or, or sorry, Ray, Ray Traced Ultra, not that big of a deal. The other thing that uh, everyone should kind of take note of, 
in order for you guys to get settings like this you really need to have an rtx level card and uh the reason for that is because with an rtx level card and pr preferably a 2070 super or better uh you're going to be able to enable dlss now you can have it set to auto or you can have it set to balanced if you are running into frame rate issues again auto or balanced now if you really just want to put a lot of stress on your gpu if you turn it to quality watch my fps settings you see how they instantly just dropped it went down to 40 you know it's in the low 50s right now it's not horrible uh and but there's really not much going on right now so if i kind of go into a busier intersection and i kind of see how it's down in the 40s again so let's go ahead and go back to the settings you probably want dlss balanced uh if if you're running into issues performance maybe but like you're not really going to notice the difference between quality and balance so i have mine in balance now if you're struggling at balance you can use you know try performance or ultra performance you're going to be able to get the best of both worlds i was going to make sure you get that crouch sliding in i want to look at the the lighting and the shadows and the car see, see see all the reflections in the cars see all those reflections you only get that with all these crazy settings and there you have it now the one thing i do encourage turning off and that is this kind of goes against you know what what everyone talks about but uh, it's called chromatic aberration now i'm not going to get into the science behind it i'm not i'm, I'm not experienced in this I'm, I'm not uh not well versed in this but when i turn this off things have a much less cloudy look when you look around now some people really enjoy that cloudy kind of uh motion blur almost kind of effect uh it, it kind of has that like oh you know it's the it's it's the it's the grit and the grime of the city personally i i don't really care for it just looks better with this off even if even if everything's on ultra you're not in the mood well okay well sorry man you're, you're just gonna have to wait here just a little bit longer now let's say you have a card that uh isn't really super powerful like for example like a 2070 super or something like that and let's say you have everything on medium just for an example uh, right now, I don't have a 2070 uh, Super uh, available in my uh, in my gaming PC, but I do have it in my streaming PC. But let's just kind of take a look at all these settings right here. So that what we can see here is that on medium, the most important settings are going to be turned a little bit higher. And the least important settings are just going to be a little bit lower. Because in this game, most of the, most of the graphics are already pretty well tuned. It's just the lighting, the ray tracing any sort of cinematics that that are going to make the game just that much more immersive and so as you guys can see here like volumetric fog resolution like that is just some fancy way of saying you know how how uh, advanced do you want your fog detail to be some people don't really care about fog others are like wow look at that fog you know as they look over a, a sunset or something like that so that's going to be a little bit more important so go ahead and look at all these settings here you guys can kind of take a look on your own time and uh, you guys can see which ones are a little bit more important, which ones aren't. Uh, most times, again, the uh, the most important settings are going to be basically detail type settings or texture type settings. They're not going to be lighting settings. And so uh, anyway, let's go turn it back up to Ray Tracing Ultra. Now, let's say you wanted to have fairly high settings, but you wanted to get rid of the cinematics. So you wanted to have a lot of detail, but you weren't really concerned about uh lighting and reflections now i'll go ahead and show you guys what the uh the the reflections and the shadows look like when 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 we go into the room so we're gonna go into settings and we're going to turn off uh ray trace reflections and shadows here okay and we're gonna just leave ray tracing on okay so we're gonna look through this window okay this this view looks pretty good like it's not bad like you can see like oh this this looks quite accurate you know all the shadows all the details like when you're moving around but look what happens when you go ahead and you turn on the uh, reflections and shadows. You can see right there, I'm kind of staring at it in the middle. You can see that that these that these signs are giving off this reflection from the window. So the window, instead of looking like a digital window, it looks a lot more like an AI generated window. It, there's reflections that, that, that are gonna happen in windows. That would be uh, any window in a building or like a car window, anything like that. Now let's go back to where we were our friendly guy is not here anymore uh that's that is a big sad i think the optimization it actually on launch you can see like how that sunspot just kind of glared off that window just just now you're not going to get that as much with with your settings turned a little bit lower you guys can oh sorry i didn't 
<laughs> I'm still getting used to this. You guys can like run into people and you guys can see just how detailed they're. Oh man, okay, so she really wanna look at you. Another funny thing, so like car windows right here. So when you move inside a car, you see all these like like the, the reflection off the windows. So see see how that's that's very, very, very accurate. Now, if you were to let me just kind of get up ahead right here. So I'm gonna quick stop it right now. If you were to turn these things off, right? The ray chase reflections and shadows. Boom. Oh, I just got knocked over. Well, anyway, you're not gonna be able to see. Goodness, I'm just getting just absolutely messed up right now. Yo, not not again. I'm backing up. Sorry. If you don't really care too much about all those fancy settings, well then just you know turn them off. Boom. No details. Now the glass is kind of well, meh. The the main things again are turn your chromatic aberration turn that off uh and then the other thing that you can kind of like if you really don't want to deal with it motion blur you can you can lower this by one stop that's the other thing because some people they they don't really uh care about that motion blur motion blur is that cinematic effect like when you see i'm waving my hand you can kind of see that's blurred out a little bit some people really really like that that movie look and others they don't they don't really care and they just they're just going to turn that off so motion blur is going to occur for like fast moving vehicles for any sort of action sequences it just kind of has that uh, it's a little bit more cinematic compared to edgy and so there you go that's that's basically how you're gonna have to set up the game make sure that you're gonna be as close to 60 fps as possible uh that means that you're probably gonna have to download msi afterburner and then uh just basically set that up there's tons of guys on how to set that up okay well everybody go ahead and go enjoy cyberpunk responsibly Make sure if you're streaming, you don't want to have any awkward moments. You might want to turn your nudity level to off. And uh, if you're streaming, also make sure that the music's turned off for right now. And uh, go have fun. All right, guys. Thank you very much. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you drop a sub. We're going to try to hit our sub goal of 100K by Christmas. That's right. And uh, the other thing that really helps the videos is after you sub, just you hit that like button. Okay. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.